Good morning, guys. It is a Monday morning. Um, starting the day a little early. It's oh, actually a little late. It's about um, 8.15 right now. Headed out to the job site. Today, um, not super much into lawn care. Not a lot of mowing footage is going to be done today. Um, but mainly, I'm going to take you on a job site. Um, something I usually do early in the week is try to schedule as much landscaping jobs in the, in the early in the week as possible than have um, all week um, to get the mowing done. So try to be as efficient as possible with that. But today I'm gonna be doing a rock job and, and a topsoil. So I'm gonna be removing um, some river rock here in someone's backyard. Um, once that's all out, I'm gonna be installing about a ton, it's a ton and a half of um, topsoil, which can be graded to help provide drainage and all that. So I'm super pumped about that. I'm gonna show you exactly when I get there, um, what it looks like. But um, I got the trailer, I got the, I got the wheelbarrows, all that stuff that we need to take care of it. Um, it's gonna be a fun day, um, super beautiful out. So I'm gonna stick you guys along here. I'm gonna have the tripod mounted up, hopefully get some good footage. Um, let you know, we're heading to the dump, we're heading to the, the mulch yard, all that stuff. So uh, a lot going on today, um, so stick with me and I'll see you guys at the property now. <clears throat> all right, so here's gonna be the job for the day, guys. As you can see here, this river rock here, has to go so it's gonna be this whole trench on this bed here um, from here all the way up through here and as well along in here uh, there's gonna to be topsoil like this previously I did this job about a week ago and they wanted it all topsoil like that so all this river rock's gonna to have to go so that means um, it means using the wheelbarrow grabbing all the rocks here and installing the topsoil right over top. Um, they're gonna plan to grow grass over it. So, but let's see how and some of this stuff's pretty thick. Some of this comes up pretty easy. So, um, yeah. Then you can see the slope here kind of comes down. So it's kind of regrade this here, so all the water runs down um, through that drain, which is always clogged. So, but yeah, we're gonna get started here um, on getting this river rock up. Um, I'll let you guys know. Get some footage. Then we're going to bring in some topsoil, grade this out, um, and, and get moving. So stick along, guys. I'm super pumped. Let me flip this around. Super pumped. It is a Monday. Couldn't be more excited. So stick with me, and we're going to knock it all out. Um, we'll see you guys in a second. So guys, this is the kind of the finished product here with removing the rocks. As you can see, there's gonna be some rocks left. I'm gonna go in through and hand pick, but um, they're just gonna try growing grass here. So it's gonna be about two to three inches of topsoil um, that's gonna be put down. So um, all these small rocks are kind of embedded and not um, emerging in the surface um, are not gonna hurt. Um, once we have the topsoil down and it's thick enough, like I'm gonna show you here, this stuff here is pretty much flush with the ground. So. Um, it shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, I'm going to try to get a little bit more as, as possible, but basically wanting to get as, as close to, to bare soil um, so then we can just put the topsoil on, be smooth, and then on this side here as well. Um, got it all pretty cleaned up. Um, so 
we're gonna go to the trailer here um load it as well um then we're gonna hit the dump and then we're gonna eventually go get some topsoil but basically that took about an hour um and 15 minutes um not too bad then we're gonna head to the dump which is about another um 20 minutes away so uh, we're moving here so as you can see this is kind of how much we've got uh, not too much at all so um stick with me guys i'll probably meet you at the dump or meet you back here and have top soil and i'll show you guys um how i'm gonna throw it down uh, how i'm gonna grade it and all that stuff so stick along and um enjoy the ride so we have made it to the yard here um but look at that guy that's a warrior right there a little what does he have a toyota corolla with a little hitch attachment that's kind of sick but yeah we're just in line here waiting I got the topsoil about a ton here in the truck. Um, pulling up here, stop before. One time I stopped on the scale and uh, learned my lesson the hard way. But um, that's when I was first starting out. But now here, just wait and get on the scale. I'm gonna pay for the topsoil and we're gonna eventually head out and get um, this topsoil down. So see you guys on the set. Look at this guy here. Saw it, dude. So guys, here is the final result here. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna clean up the patio here. But um, as as you can see, all the rock, all that stuff is now gone. Um, I got about three and a half, four inches of topsoil um, ready to be seeded, straw, watered, all that to get the grass life back in action. So um, as you can see here, there's a slight grade going down here. Um, the water's gonna tend to come past the shed. Um, and down here onto the patio. So I kind of just drifted down. There's a drain um, in the middle there. So uh, you, can't, you can't really see it gets covered, but there's a, a water drain. So all the water's gonna come down here, sit in the drain. Um, and here we go. So I'm gonna take a quick through walk through here um, and just kind of show you how it all turned out. Um, as you remember, there was all rock here, um, but uh, pretty smooth, pretty neat, um, not too bad. I used less than a ton of, of, of um, topsoil. So it was able to turn out great. Um, all this pretty smooth and even so uh, very pleased with this turned out again gonna get it all blown off here take everything back to the truck um, head home and get the mowers out because we have a property to mow um, maybe a few but we'll see so yeah again here uh, as you can see here this was all mulched about a month and a half ago two months ago that needs to be blown off too as well so I'm gonna take care of that as well for them but um yeah, it turned out great. All the rocks gone. Now they're gonna get the yard back, um, and I'll be doing some seeding here uh, and some maintaining, and hopefully then servicing their lawn. So uh, it turned out great here, and I'm very pleased. So I'll meet you guys in the truck in uh, five seconds. See you now. <laughs> so we're back now after being home. Um, unloaded the trailer and all that stuff. Um, right behind me here, as you can see, uh, I have the mower attached. All that stuff. The trailers hooked up ready to go um, I'm gonna take a trip about 10 15 minutes down the street here um, and mow a larger property um, one thing with this property is it's usually overgrown so it takes me a little bit longer so I'll show you guys exactly how it looks um, it's probably gonna be the only property of the day it's getting a little late um, and I have to go pick up um, some stuff and run and do some errands so whatever I don't get finished today uh, will be done tomorrow as tomorrow we have another busy day so uh, but i'll show you guys exactly uh the, the property before then uh, i'll show you the results of it um, getting mowed it is a guy who has been selling his house for the longest time so he's never really there so he never really takes care of it so i've been there and it's, it's a bi-weekly cut so with all the rain and stuff i'm expecting it to be pretty high and overgrown so um, but i'm gonna get it mowed as low as possible i'll cleaned up and all that so i'll show you guys in a second how it all looks so guys here is the property um we just pulled up um sorry we whacking here around the trees all that good stuff i'll move the sticks to the side but as you can see let me see if i can get a better angle you can see here compared to the neighbors it's super overgrown here so and um and here's the garden so that super shows how they, they maintain the property um this is a every two weeks and it just seems to always take off because I have to cut it so high when it's already so high I don't want to kill my mower blades and the mower so I'm going to set up the um, the mowing um, get all that going here I'm going to get some footage but as you can see it's really tall overgrown so it's going to take some some time to get a cut probably double cut it um, but I'll walk you around here and we'll get the mower 
out and we'll start melting here in a sec. me to take down but eventually um we read on this whole garden bed but basically here's how it turned out i'm striped up as best possible it's so tall like that it's pretty clean stripes but you can see all through here the cup cadet does a great job and i'm super super impressed the way it handles this taller grass we got it all cleaned up um looks like it would be the last one of the day but i did get some stripes in there uh double cut some of the areas that are really matted and overgrown so but as you can see, it looks great. I'm um, super impressed. I'll um, be back in a few weeks. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you guys think it turned out. If you think it's, it's, um, it, it went well, then give me a comment or whatever. Um, we're rolling out of here and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So guys, it is a wrap for the day. Um, super pleased by the way that today went. Um, nothing really major. Um, threw me off course today but um like i said i got that as you can see i got the um the landscaping job done in the morning and this one yard uh, mode as well um it's gonna be it for today it's around 4 50 almost five o'clock so it was a pretty long day um but i can't beat it, it was a great day out uh got everything accomplished that i de basically needed to get done today um we'll be back again tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoy all the footage um it's another vlog episode so it's gonna be more to come throughout my season, throughout all this year. I'm continuing to service the community, continuing to um, help out customers and um, provide the best service I can. Um, I'm enjoying enjoying it all. Hopefully, um, the weather stays great. So far, the, there has not been any rain delays, and I'm super pleased that it has usually um, rained every evening around seven o'clock, which has um, allowed me to stay busy with cutting grass and it has allowed me to um, stay out of the rain. So I can't beat it. Super happy again, thrilled. It was another great day. Um, we're gonna head home, get showered, uh, run some errands here. Um, then give, actually pick up, um, pick up some materials for tomorrow. I need some bags and all this stuff. Stay tuned tomorrow guys. It's gonna be a pretty big cleanup. Super excited about. And I'm um, gonna do an estimate as well. It's a pretty big mall shop, literally up the street from me. I can walk there. So. Um, super busy guys like I'm saying once you get out there get your name in the community people need you uh, reliability is super important and it has paid off for me this year I've, I've not had um, any really bad jobs or any bad recommendations I've been um, basically 
pleasing a lot of customers so it makes me happy um, and I'm here just for them and I'm here to service them so guys I appreciate all your support if you have not liked subscribed or even commented on my video if you have any questions about my mowers on uh, my equipment or anything that you 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 want to know about how to get started in like lawn care set up all that stuff feel free to comment I would love to get back to you and answer um, any of your questions um, Follow me on Instagram, Peter underscore Roberts01. Um, tweet me, at me, um, DM me. All that stuff is super cool, guys. I'm here to help you guys out and show you what I'm doing because you can do it as well. I love you all, and enjoy the next and more to come, guys. Um, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.